We should talk about your piddles. I think I described it before I took it out of its sack as a, a big banana, as a boomerang. But now that it's assembled, it uh, resembles more of a horseshoe. It kind of looks like a, like a racetrack that you'd have a, in a children's bedroom. You know, and the pedals are all kind of these different uh, matchbox cars, you know. A lot mm. of colours. I really just like the colours and the flashing lights. <laughs> She's a good friend. On record, I think maybe a lot of the sounds that I've been hearing and thinking were generated in a computer or yep. a synthesizer are actually coming out of your guitar via these these magical boxes. There's a lot of that, especially on my first record. Mm. Um, a lot of it was guitar driven and was sort of mistaken for synths, mm. or yeah, from or drum machines or or soft synths or whatever. But uh, even the sounds that aren't coming from the guitar, to try to give it a certain flavour, unique flavour, we'd pass a lot of things through this, whether it would be you know, MIDI string arrangements or, or drums, live drums. Mm. Uh, we'd send it out through the pedals and to just try to give it a, uh, even if it was very subtle, to give it uh, a certain space that, you know, obviously going through pedals, it doesn't exist in a real space. You can buy into that as much as you want. It would give it a sound, definitely, if not a, if not a, uh, a certain electricity. Funny now, but it wasn't then. 